So, I know that it's been a while since I've been here, but welcome everybody to my infrared sauna vlog. And so I've been out of the loop because I broke my wrist and I broke it, let's see, two and a half weeks ago today and I had surgery on it two weeks ago yesterday and they put 13 screws and a plate in it and <laughs> crazy, but look. What? Are you kidding me? So I'm getting my range of motion back. I have a scar, but that'll heal. And so, yeah. Anyway, this is my first day back in my infrared sauna. And I'm really happy about that. And um, I upgraded my lighting so that hopefully it's not so pixelated. Um, but I wanted to talk, oh, also, I have an announcement I got accepted into, I may have even said this in my last vlog, but I got accepted into Best American Psychics, which is really amazing because it just verifies and validates everything, you know, that, that I claim that I can do because they put you through rigorous testing, hardcore. Anyway, I'm thrilled about that, but, um... I wanted to do, in this vlog, I wanted to do a three-part vlog on my experience with my wrist because I believe that everything happens for a reason and there's a lot of things that I really want to address in getting hurt in like really overcoming um, adversity because it's like, what the frick? Why did that happen to me? You know? So I want to break it down into three parts because it has been a journey for sure. <laughs> um, okay. So the first part I want to talk about is, um, listening to your intuition because I did this when I was snowboarding and I was, I've snowboarded for 20 years and I've very rarely fall, but it's always good to, um, wear wrist guards and I have wrist guards and I've worn them for 20 years and I don't go without them. But when I was, um, snowboarding, I got new gloves and my wrist guards didn't fit. So, um, I let it ride. I went and got some new ones though the next day. And then they didn't fit. And so I let it ride again. And as I was going up the last run on the last day, I started having my mind flood with all these thoughts about injuries and people that I know that had bad injuries and all this craziness. And I'll just tell you this, as a reader, it's very difficult to read yourself. But sometimes spirit will be like bam, 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 and really be like, listen, and you don't listen. And so the message today for this vlog and for me, and especially on the heels of this, is pay attention to your intuition because so many disasters can be averted if you really listen to that little voice. And I'm telling you, when I was going up on the lift, the last thing I remember thinking before I got off, um, got off the lift was what would happen to me if I got really badly injured and who would come and help me and, or take care of me. <sighs> right. And my surgeon told me that this entire injury could have been completely averted if I'd worn my wrist skirts. Okay. So listen to your intuition because I knew, I, I knew I kept saying, I need my wrist guards. I need my wrist guards. Anyway, first part of this lesson for me is to pay attention to my intuition and we all have it and it's all very prominent and it's all here guiding us and we just have to listen. Okay. So, I hope everybody subscribes and I hope I didn't lose anybody while I was out, but I'm back now. And so please subscribe and, um, please get a reading, you know, 
I'm going to give discounts and I'll give one free reading question to any subscriber that mails me or messages me. And so thank you so much. Thank you so much for having patience. And... <gasps>